So I am the third um, director of this lab called the Space Systems Design Lab. The lab has been around for about 10 years now, and the lab got a reputation for uh, cranking out satellites that were reasonably small, so they could be easily integrated onto rockets where somebody said, hey, I've got a little bit of extra capacity, would you like to ride along with me? Um, and pretty quickly as well. We're talking about students get in and out of the program and build a satellite in the course of one, two, three years and gets launched, we collect the data from it. The guy who started this lab, Bob Trigg, Professor Bob Twiggs, he had this concept for what we would call a CubeSat. And this was a uh, roughly four by four by four inch satellite. Now it's measured actually in metric system, so it's 100 by 100 by 100 millimeters. It's allowed to weigh a kilogram. It has this particular shape. And his idea was, hey, could we get to the point where Rather than know that you've got a particular launch two and a half years in advance and you've got a plan for that particular rocket and you're going to be dealing with those organizations and all that, how about if you could just make a satellite of this size and put it in a FedEx box and send it somewhere and the next thing you know, it's on orbit. The important thing is that in this environment for these kind of rapid developments, typically the satellite is not, you know, a sort of a high-grade aerospace, military, that sort of quality. It's put together generally on a shoestring, it's put together by student labor, oftentimes guys and girls who haven't done anything on a satellite before, so they don't know all these procedures and, and, and protocols that are, are, are used in more uh, you know, famous satellites, whatever, and yet if you look at the, the uh, reliability record and all that, these satellites work pretty well. So this is an example of an antenna design that's happening right now for a satellite we're building here. It has two transmit and two receive antennas, and it's such that while it's flying on orbit, these two antennas oriented 90 degrees to each other will give us the best possible signal down on the ground to then close the link and talk to it. You can see this is made from tape measures. A lot of, you can go to, uh, to the uh, Udvar Hazi Museum outside of uh, Washington, D.C., and you'll see uh, satellites that were built by student groups in like the 60s and 70s, and they also use tape measures. Because tape measures have this great uh, pr uh, property that they like to unfurl in a very controlled manner. So you have it on orbit and then you let go, and all of a sudden I've got these antennas out. But the antennas have to be folded up so they can actually fit inside the peephole, which is this launching tube. It's like a jack-in-the-box. So it all kind of gets folded in, put in the tube, and then it gets kicked back out.